Hello guys and welcome back to World of Tanks with Mandy. Today we are going to have a quick uh, review of uh, tier 6 Japanese medium tank, the Type 4 Chito. This is a tank uh, that we got in I think 9.4 patch I think or 9. Point, yeah 9.4 and uh, the Chinese branch with that ends with STB1. Now, uh, a lot of you know everything about uh, this line. Uh, people really don't like uh, the Chito or any of these Japanese tanks because they're really, really hard to play uh, without things like Six Sense and uh, camo camo skill on 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 the tank because uh, the playing of, of this line is is really really painful you don't have ar armor um, your dpm is okay but uh, honestly until you hit the chi nu at least i felt like that uh, before you uh, hit the Chinu, um, you have to deal with uh, bad guns with lower pen, but you're playing in, in lower tiers, so that doesn't matter too much. It's uh, all about your awareness and uh, how um, you... Well, uh, it, it's all about the... Uh, the tactics and more or less camping in lower tiers I suppose and then when you hit the Chi Nu uh, yeah you can see on, on Chi Nu you have lots of lots of uh, modules to research which is another bad thing I suppose they needed to implement a lot of a lot of stuff in this Japanese branch just so people can play it a bit longer they they even did uh, give us uh, a lot of uh, missions to play with japanese tanks just for sake of playing just so that uh, this tech tree don't get ig ignored like uh, peop lots of people at first time ignored the chinese tech tree now uh, you can see uh, you can see over here that uh, I'm watching this gun this is uh, probably the gun that you're interested in uh, to unlock as fast as you can on Chinu so you have a uh, easier life uh, with playing this thing uh, I had fun with Chinu but uh, it was a campy experience you need to hide if you played the uh, German TDs with no armor or uh, the medium line that uh, goes to Leopard 1 uh, you know what I mean uh, then after unlocking this gun and, ec and, and, and researching the Cheeto that gun you're gonna need uh, definitely for unlocking this this gun is 7.5 centimeter as well it has a really good rate of fire without uh, brothers in arms and with ventilation and gun rammer you have uh, around 3.3 seconds reload aiming time is 2 seconds which is okay that means that after every shot uh, you're gonna aim in time uh, before reload finishes which is quite good uh, synchronization because you're gonna need it uh, this turret gives you more health so uh, definitely research it if you have uh, free XP and yeah those are the main things that uh, are needed so you can start playing your Cheeto uh, for no more babbling around uh, let me just show you yeah I'm using uh, the bino telescope because this tank has a 360 view range uh, which is not bad but with the binos you get around uh, well uh, 
over 400 meters view range if you stand still with binos in some bushes uh, the m the thing that you need to research first is uh, six sense and please do take uh, camo camo crew because you're gonna benefit a lot you're gonna see in two of my videos that uh, i was able to shoot on people sitting in the bush and not get spotted and please buy when when you play cheeto buy the seven day camo this playing of this tank gonna need so so much help uh, from you and your money and your free xp uh, so you so you can uh, play it uh, with less pain i know a lot of uh, friends are hating on this tank because uh, it's really really painful it says that you go 45 uh, kilometers per hour top speed uh, don't get fooled the tank gonna go on 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 normal ground like on roads it's gonna go 40 and downhill gonna go 45 but uh, the engine power is the torque of the engine is crap so in lots of situation uh, the engine can fail you terribly 30 uh, degrees per second is traverse speed which is not very well as well I mean this tank can shift in some situation but uh, I recommend uh, not go and climb some uh, dodgy hills from where you cannot uh, run away fast and do uh, keep in mind that uh, you're not as fast as the other tanks it it's definitely is if this tank had like 60 kilometers per hour top speed it would be op uh, op tank it would it would resemble as cromwell but the thing that cromwell for example doesn't have and this tank has it uh, Cheeto has a better gun depression. This gun depression is like, like there. You can you can pull your pull your uh, a gun, this like this. So you can basically shoot your ground beneath you, which is a cool feature because uh, this tank practically doesn't have anything uh, except that gun. And you're gonna sh I'm gonna show you that. Uh, your best bet is to get as much as you can uh, tier 8 games and do some passive roll and snipe mm, in tier 6s uh, you're gonna pray to have some friends with uh, kv2 or kvs and kv1s uh, that can pull you into platoon and uh, that's that's another way how you can uh, work this thing thing out uh, in my review yeah, i'm gonna show you uh, i played with my friends uh, they were playing their arties and grinding uh, for this um, uh, wz uh, 111 uh, tank uh, mission I almost completed I need only 4k damage with the Japanese which I'm going to do today I think I'm gonna claim my tank uh, I played all as you can see I played all of my mission with Cheeto the example the, the reason why I played it uh, with Cheeto is uh, uh, because uh, I was thinking that uh, it's uh, way way ma much easier to play in tier 6s all the time because uh, I saw what kind of games you can get with Chiri and I'm gonna start playing Chiri some other time not now I'm not so crazy to play it I know some people uh, played really really good uh, in it but uh, the thing is I'm not interested in that tank, tank right now I only preserved my Cheeto I'm training the the crew in it you can see that I am at 75% on brothers in arms I'm literally uh, preparing this crew as much as I can for uh, the 
for the Chiri. So when I hit, when I transfer my crew into Chiri, I want it uh, to be uh, a really beastful to help myself out as much as I can. So yeah, uh, the thing is about this tank as well is that uh, your premium ammo is actually AP ammo with better penetration. Um, it has like 186 penetration with AP ammo and 38 penetration with um, HE ammo. The dispersion is really really good. Uh, it's some some tier 8 medium tanks have dispersion like this. So yeah, the gun the gun is really great and the gun depression is really great on this tank, but that's the only thing. That's the problem o o of the tank itself. It only has that gun. It's more or less like a fucking tiger. I mean, uh, all people praise the tiger in 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 or in the game or in the war because of the the, the stupid gun but uh, in lot of situation you need friends you you need to use other tanks Th that's the only way you can play the, the the cheeto or to be a passive scout spotter with the binoculars or something at least i didn't find out uh, the better way to play it and uh, yeah I played I played the Japanese uh, line and grinded uh, my damage and kills cuz I felt like uh, I have a time I have enough time to uh, do it and I just wanted to see if I can make this tank work somehow and that's the exact thing I'm going to show you in next two videos where I managed to got myself mastery badges in higher tier games and uh, with a bit of luck and a bit of help of my friends I managed to do really good in this tank so let's see those games and this is a game on Lakeville that we had two weeks ago we are all grinding um, kills and damage for this mission. My friend Toxin is in his FV304, so called BERT. Uh, Robbie is in his AMX13 F3. And I decided to go here in the middle because of the okay camo value. And I was shooting through these bushes. Initially, this object 416 spotted some targets for us. Then, when I saw that they popped up from the radar, I wanted to go near. Now, this guy is behind the bush, so I hesitated to shoot at him, but didn't want it to get spotted. But when I saw that they're actually not watching over here, I started shooting as well. Because this object was working them out and he didn't got spotted or, uh, or got shot. I think only he got only initially got shot once. My friends. set their uh, position to shoot the middle and the edges of the city. Unfortunately in the valley we have only one heavy tank which is bad but the good thing is that the uh, team have chances to win because they were really determined to attack the city and control the cap which is okay. You can see how this gun is accurate if you aim your shots, of course. Really accurate, really good dispersion for a tier 6 tank. The shell is going like a bit 
higher than on the other guns, but uh, you can you can learn how to use this gun really easily. But this is basically a thing that you're go gonna do with your Cheeto if you want to help out your team. Like your your gun is your gun and your DPM at, at the gun is everything. And better make some position to use the gun. Because your armor is crap and, and, and it's not gonna help you much. Your job is, is to basically to sit and snipe. Just like with the tiger. At least that's the only way how I managed to 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 work this deck this tank out sorry and now there is a situation that i fear that gonna happen is that somebody always go through that stupid valley and they always think that if they attack through valley which is slower part of the map that they can win that that's why this team is losing you can see my poor aiming i missed two perfectly perfect shots at the end I shot this 5100. Now I screwed up and, and my friend died. But at, at least at least we 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 were winning and we had this game in the in the back. My team stopped with with cap. That's that's an unfortunate shot. Now you can see IMX blocking me and I'm gonna take the damage for the first time in this game because the wild tiger appeared and I decided that I need to pull back if I'm gonna fight him in some cover. Uh, you can see that my friend in, in, in Bird went in city to hide because in, in Bird you can really escape now, as you can see, the, the little IMX is working around bravely on this tiger. I let him because I really wanted to survive at least one game, <laughs> at least one game to survive in this tank and get some more experience. And yeah, uh, let's see quickly the post game stats of this game. Now let's see uh, quickly here the post games that's of that uh, Lakeville game. Uh, we hit the mastery badge. Uh, you saw me that I was uh, sniping. I was first on experience because I was shooting uh, higher tier tanks. I scored three kills, two and a half uh, k damage. Um, f well, um, I can just say this thing. Uh, me and these two guys on the middle, we did a great job of uh, spotting a lot of uh, enemy vehicles. But the main thing uh, why we won is because uh, uh, their team didn't attack the middle and they had tanks going in the valley and I can't say it was some tremendous victory or something but uh, I'm showing this game uh, just to show you that uh, which is the play style you're gonna use playing it at least I found out that this kind of way sniping from behind is the role for the Cheeto especially in higher tier game so uh, yeah for no more uh, more talking uh, let's see that other game that I had And this is a game on Alamalo that we had. Approximately, I think it was uh, the same week, probably the same day when we played that Lakeville game that I showed. Now, this is a pretty much tier 8 game. There are only two tier 7 vehicles in this matchup. And I'm gonna try to go over here to be spotter with my binocs. Um, 
I waited a bit over here, didn't want to rush it, and I found this A44 over here. And Cromwell is over there apparently, yeah. Our Panther got hit while he was going down. And now I'm trying to work this A44, because I know his weaknesses. His side armor is really bad. I can penetrate him reliably with one fifty-five. And I attract this guy and actually I damage him. So uh, for now the game is uh, going quite well. Unfortunately, I got shot by that day 44 there, didn't pay attention, he angled really well, really, really nice shot from here. My friends in artillery are doing great job, this Cromwell gave me a free kill, I am always grateful. Now I've pulled up to see if I can spot this guy, and yeah, it was a dodgy shot, but uh, it penetrated. You can see if from other angle that uh, my friends in RT are wrecking those two tier 6s in the middle of the map. Now I saw that Centurion going but uh, wasn't sure is he gonna YOLO full on, full on YOLO on us but and that's why I came here to help the Panther because Panther was getting troubled. I know I can't help a bit so we can quickly kill this guy. I shot him two times and retreated. And whoa, thi thi this is really bad. He's yelling us full. And I was so happy with this shot. I managed to set him on fire. And poor bastard uh, was set on fire another time. My friend finishes off this uh, M6. The game is almost done. Um, I stopped to aim for this guy, but I don't know why I did that, but uh, never mind. And uh, yeah, the RVZ uh, killed the T50. That meant that I can go in the middle of the map and to try to spot some more tanks that are camping in the base. This is the moment where we all uh, basically saw why enemy team lost. And uh, you're gonna see it as well. Uh, you can see that uh, IS-3 and 5100 wasn't over there. Over there are only VK and Tiger 2. So where are the top, top tier tanks of the enemy? Yep. You're, you're most certainly right if you're thinking that they are in base. Camping, letting the team down. We had a really great team, like our team did their job. Even I helped with, with, with this crappy little gun. Thing. Fortunately for this heist, <laughs> The gun mantle of Cheeto trolled him. <laughs> he managed only to wreck my gun, but I will happily take damage gun when I know I could get shot for 400 damage by him. Now at that moment I was thinking he's not gonna go to take another shot on me because I am not on one shot, he is on mo mostly one shot and I wanted to go and sneak, sneaky, sneak the kill on the 5100. At this point I was thinking Arty gonna finish him up, he is dead probably. I auto aim this guy, I missed one shot, IS3 went for me, I was thinking guys kill him please. And no, unfortunately for me, I didn't load the ghost shell, and 
this guy managed to kill me. Now you can see my friend uh, missed him at the end. But finally they kill him. So uh, let's go and see post game stats and the conclusion. And this is uh, that uh, El Halof game uh, with my Chito. It was a mastery badge again. Um, in this game, I managed to pick up uh, three kills, uh, 1,389 uh, base experience. I was I finished the game top on experience and. I had uh, less uh, damage in this game than uh, my friend in the artillery. Uh, he was up to his job. Uh, El Halouf is really an uh, RT map, so yeah. Uh, I managed to do well as well because uh, I got spot spotting damage. Uh, for my RTs and for my TDs uh, and I manage uh, at the end to even um, kill few tanks uh, and yeah basically uh, I wanted to show you uh, in these two games how Cheeto performs in tier 8 games didn't wanted to show you tier 6 games because in tier 6 and tier 7 games um, you can find your way out, you can fight a bit uh, against lower tier tanks, but in these tier 8 games um, you really really need to have some kind of uh, passive way, something like this. I tried to show you, uh, uh, showcase you in these two games uh, how you can passively uh, help your tier 8s. Of course, uh, I agree on on the thing that uh, your tier 8 tanks uh, need to have brain and and do actually some good stuff so you can exploit the situation uh, in both games you saw that uh, the support vehicles the mediums uh, and the light tanks uh, did uh, most of the damage uh, simply because heavy tanks did their job they pressured the uh, main pinpoints of the map and control the the positions that the heavy tanks need to put control uh, to be honest in the last game uh, we had the situation where uh, the enemy camped in base in higher tier tanks which is really bad uh, but was really good for us and yeah basically from these two videos as well you can see that uh, you can play Japanese with Cheeto and grind the VZ mission that I think that you all uh, most of you finished and did so yeah thank you guys for watching and I see you soon